All right, good morning, guys. Here we are for the first official day of the drags. And I'm in the trailer, getting the car all prepped and ready to back out. Got our tent set up to give us some shade when we're in between doing some runs. And got everything set up. Got our pit bike. So we'll do a little uh, walk around later and show all the more cars that come up. So we're gonna finish getting set up, get the car warmed up, and then I may make a test hit before I put the camera on, and then we'll show you some runs, and then I'll walk around and do some cars later. Okay, it's uh, lunchtime and track is not good. So we are actually swapping over to the F70s, which I think I mentioned in the last video. Here they are there. So we're swapping over to those and the reason are, it, or the reason is these tires have been shaved. So they hook way better. So we're gonna get these thrown on and we're leaving some RPM on the table going through the traps. So. Hopefully we can get a couple runs in and get a film of uh, some in-car runs. So we're gonna go ahead and get these things swapped out and get rid of the G70s and get these thrown on. Okay, as you just saw, we got it swapped out. So hopefully we can get this thing to hook better and get a few more RPM on the uh, big end going through the traps. Looks way better with the steel wheels and red lines in my opinion, but anyway. We're gonna finish up some lunch and then we'll go back out.
Okay guys, as you saw in those couple clips before, this car, we're hoping for it to run the best it ever has, but unfortunately, the trans is slipping really bad. It sucks. Right when you get up into peak power, it just starts slipping. Uh, so I cut it short and we had to bow out of the competition day tomorrow, unfortunately. So what I'll probably do is get you guys a video tomorrow of walking around and getting to check out all the cars, film a few of them go down the track. Uh, that way you can at least see some of the cars won't get to see us race anymore. Sucks, but part of it, but that'll probably be it for this one. Um, we'll see you in the next video, which will be a little bit of racing with some other cars as well as going around checking out the ones that have already showed up. And yeah, that's about it. We'll show off the car here in the sunlight since we got some nice sun hitting it. At least that's one cool thing. But yeah, remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.
All right, guys, I had that outro filmed at like the beginning of the video, obviously, but I went ahead and threw in clips of all the cars, at least the ones that uh, I took pictures of and video. So I thought I'd throw those in there. Hope you enjoyed it. Weekend didn't really go as planned, but we're gonna get that trans pulled out over winter and get it all rebuilt and dialed in for probably, I think dad usually does three or four events with that car, all kind of fast or uh, pure stock related. So that'll be ready to go for next season. Sucks because the car was, was, eh, the car was running the best it ever has and it probably would have laid down the best times it ever has. And I can't remember, I didn't think I put the time in there, but the clip where I accidentally shifted from first up into third, that the car still ran a 1298 at 108. So that pass with the trans actually holding on probably would have been a pretty dang good pass for that car, probably deep into the mid to low 12s. But anyway, next video should be back on the 55. If you want to see where we left off, go back and watch the last video on this thing. And basically what we're going to be doing, getting some seam sealer uh, fixed in on or filled in on the inner wheel well housings and all the areas we need it. And then probably get ready for some undercoating. And then I'll probably go ahead and get the new leaf springs installed so they're up in there and ready. And then when the heads and whatnot get back, we'll be able to get on assembling the engine so we can get our engine and trans put in. So then we can get the rear end up in it, get our pinion angle set, all that fancy stuff. And we kind of decided what we're gonna do engine mount wise. So we'll fill you in more when we get the engine or the heads back to assemble the engine. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you in the next video on this old girl. And That'll do it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.